Welcome to Coos Elementary, home of the Bobcats. I'm Melissa Pender, the principal. And Renee Roberts, the assistant principal. We're super excited. It's that one time of the year when families that are not currently living in our attendance zone but would like to attend Coos Elementary can apply. School choice applications are available on the district website from March 1st to March 31st. We hope you enjoy learning a little bit about our school. Leadership plays a huge role in our school. Students are empowered to apply their knowledge of the seven habits each day. I'm a leader at school by working as a hallway patrol officer. Also, I'm a part of the National Elementary Honor Society. As a military family life counselor, otherwise known as MFLAG, I provide private and confidential services to military children and their families at CUSA. Part of my role is to provide short-term non-medical counseling to students. I assist military families by working with the school to participate in events that support students by providing fun activities where military children can connect with each other. I help students understand the impact of deployment, family reunions following deployment, and other stressors related to military life. This is our STEM lab that all students attend weekly. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math and are major components of our curriculum. In addition, we have a competitive robotics program for our upper grades. I would like Drake, a fourth grader, and Oleana, a fourth grader, to show you the robot they built and coded. We also have Aura and Jordan using an Ozabot from the Citadel STEM Center in Charleston. Students of all grade levels work in our 20-bed garden throughout the school year. Our fourth graders participate in the Junior Master Gardening course offered by Clemson Extension. In the Junior Master Gardener course, we have learned how to take care of our garden to grow the best fruits and vegetables possible. We have grown sweet potatoes, carrots, broccoli, onions, and beets. We have learned about soil, composition, pollination, and the benefits of fruits and vegetables in our course. Our school is focused on students setting and achieving goals. We set personal, academic, and school-wide goals. For example, with our literacy focus this year, we are being deliberate with teaching students academic grade level vocabulary. In my class, we track the academic vocabulary on a chart. When students hear the words, they get excited and want to show their knowledge of the word. This chart of words helps the children to actually take notice of the word. I get excited when I hear all of our vocabulary words because I want to tell what it means and put the tally mark on the chart. It helps me learn what the words mean faster. My wildly important goal is to finish all my facts and rocket math. I finished addition. I am working on subtraction. Next, I will finish my multiplication. Lastly, I will finish my division. Literacy is a focus for our school community. Each grade level has a monthly literacy tracker. In pre-K through first grade, students earn items to add to their home literacy centers. Students in other grades earn the opportunity to participate in a raffle for prizes such as a bike, STEM activity kits, and a variety of other great items. We have a book vending machine. We can earn tokens to get a new book out of the book vending machine once we reach our reading goals. Fourth and fifth grade students have a chance to enter the National Honor Society through academic achievement. In the Honor Society, we focus on giving back to the community school-wide, personally, and through community service projects. And students can continue their journey in the Honor Society at Ladies Island Middle School and in high school at Beaufort High. I've been in the Kusa Elementary National Honor Society for two years. I love doing it because every once a year, we get to do a school, community, and personal service learning project. For my personal service learning project, I helped my uncle with his daily routines, such as laundry, dishes, and food prep. For our community service project, we did a CAM food drive. To get into this fun program, you need to maintain your grades in an 85% average or higher. I know your student can get into this fun program. Students in grade three through five have the opportunity to participate in after school chorus. Chorus is a lot of fun and I have been part of it for three years now. We meet after school once a week for an hour. Sometimes we play rhythm games and other times we sing seasonal songs. Our first performance was filled with fun winter themed music. Your child should join chorus too. We meet the academic needs of all our students. 
students who need an accelerated curriculum, students in need of remediation, and all students in between are provided instruction at their academic level. We have an amazing gifted and talented program that provides a rigorous curriculum specifically designed to challenge students. We have highly qualified interventionists, tutors, and classroom teachers who are here to meet your child's needs. Hi, I'm Marcia McColl and my children go to Coosa Elementary School. As a parent, I love the positive, motivating environment Coosa Elementary creates for my kids. The teachers and staff love and care about my children. They are always willing to take extra time to make sure my children succeed. And my kids love Coosa too, right guys? Yeah! Everyone's been talking about academics, but look at this awesome soccer field. We hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Coos Elementary and all that we have to offer our students. If you have additional questions or would like a tour of the school, please call the front office on March 10th and 11th. We will be holding tours with an administrator who can also answer any questions you may have. We look forward to you becoming part of the Coos Elementary family. We are